So in this world, you may not receive true justice. You may not. Do you really think that Allah, the Lord of the worlds, let someone go when they have wronged you? I tell you what, one of the ways of achieving amazing contentment, it's not easy, but it's a fact, is to let go. Oh Allah, those who harmed me, I forgive them. Oh Allah, those who wronged me, I forgive them. Oh Allah, those who have taken my things, I forgive them. Oh Allah, those who have been jealous, I forgive them. Those who have spread rumor, I forgive them. All of that, try it out. You arrive at a new level of contentment. Because Allah says, Forgive and embrace. Wouldn't you like Allah to forgive you? Well, if you release, Allah will release you. So if Allah's released you, where are you going to end up in paradise? It's not easy because you need justice. You're a human. You want to fix a guy. Today, road rage is such that a guy who just cut slightly into you because you were discourteous and you didn't even let them in and they desperately wanted to get to the other side of the road and they cut in. You get so angry that you pull out a gun on the guy. That's what's happening in South Africa. Agree or not? You get so upset. They haven't even wronged you. That's the fact of life. They're just driving and they're thinking of how to do something. And you get so raged that it's actually called road rage and it's a disease and a sickness and you get angry and you cannot release a guy who came in front of you. How is Allah going to release you? That's a question. What you did was far worse, man. So Allah says, release it, man. Just let it go. It's okay. Fine. This verse, Allah says Allah is most forgiving, most merciful, was actually revealed for Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anh, when he made a promise after his daughter, our mother Aisha radiallahu anha, was accused. He said, I'm never going to spend on this guy who's spreading the rumor. I used to give him money. He's a relative of mine. No appreciation. Look at him spreading rumor. Look at him going around talking. Whatever nonsense he is, I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. And Allah says, no, good people don't do that. Good people don't do that. So immediately Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu said, you know what? I will break my oath and I'm going to spend on him again. And I'll make the peace. Are you ready? Are you ready to make peace with your brother? Are you ready to make peace with your sister, with your uncle, your aunt, your nephew, your child, your parent? Are you ready? Allah is telling you, if you're ready, I'm ready to give you paradise. It's not going to be easy. You might have to let go of some money, mainly fights and arguments about what? About something you didn't come with and you're not going to go back with. That's what you're fighting about. You thought of that. Mostly the fights in this world are about something you didn't come with and you're not going to go back with. But while you're here, you're arguing, fighting, punching, doing whatever, about what? That thing, you're going to leave it, man. You're going to go just now. Let's release it, man. What do you want here? Allah saying, I'm watching.